ਵਕਤਾਂ ਦੀ ਝੜੀ ਤੇ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਨੇ ਫੜੀ ਤੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਅੜੀ ਤੇ ਕਿਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਲੜੀ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਦੀ ਇਸ ਭਾਰਤ ਦੀ ਇਸ ਭਾਰਤ ਦੇ ਵਿਸ਼ਾਲ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਦੀ ਵਾਰੇ ਵਾਰੇ ਜਾਈਏ ਤੇ ਪੈਸਾ ਜਰਾ ਇਧਰ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਬੜੇ ਦਿਨਾਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਟੱਕਰੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਨੂੰ ਟੱਕਰ ਦੇ ਟੱਕਰ ਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਪਤੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਵਿਚ ਆਈ ਪਰਸਨਲੀ ਫੀਲ ਥੈਟ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਮੇਰਾ ਭਾਰਤ ਮਹਾਰ ਇਟ ਹੈਜ਼ ਐਂਟਾਇਰਲੀ ਕੋਲੈਪਸਡ ਨੋਬਡੀ ਓਨਸ ਐਨੀ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸਿਬਿਲਟੀ देयर इज नो अकाउंटेबिलिटी इन एनी डिपार्टमेंट इन एनी ऑफिस व्हाटसोएवर एंड द नॉर्मल एटीट्यूड ऑफ एवरी एग्जीक्यूटिव और ए ब्यूरोक्रेट और इवन जजेस इज टू पास द बक बिकॉज़ दे लैक इंटीग्रिटी दे लैक क्रेडिबिलिटी दे लैक इंटेलिजेंस एंड दे लैक कॉम्पिटेंस आल्सो नाउ व्हेन दिस आरजे एक्ट वाज इलेक्टेड पीपल वाज वेरी हैप्पी that this act will help the people to streamline the administration and bring transparency bring transparency good governance and accountability but this rti act has proved to be an exercise in futility it I means mean, it means it is a tool or a fool for the people no it is a fluke it is neither a tool nor befooling the people it is a total fiasco I have been using this act since 2005 and during my 19 years as an RTA applicant because I won't use the word activist because people say that an activist is anti social or anti national I have found only two information commissioners who were upright and law abiding one Mr Rahul Singh of Madhya Pradesh and another Meenakshi Anand Choudhury of Haryana rest all are just killing the time enjoying super elevated benefits because they have nothing to lose and i am grateful to government of india who has reduced the tenure of the information commissioners and chief information commissioners from 5 years to 3 years probably the government has realized that they are a burden on the society most of the information commissioners they are parasites and they don't want to do the work sincerely to the benefit of the people you will be surprised that for the last two years i have been meeting various information commissioners of haryana and punjab and they have adopted a new method now when the second appeal is listed before the state information commissioner or the chief information commissioner he will remand back the first appeal to the first appellate authority now there is no provision under the law this means that the information commissioners are trying to dilute and erode rti act now the act is time bound within 30 days the public information officer is duty bound to supply the information within 40 days the first appellate authority is duty bound to decide the appeal in accordance with law and within 90 days the information commissioner is to decide the second appeal within 90 days but everything is toxic they don't do anything they have a very casual and like a desical attitude and most of the information commissioners which i have observed they think that the rti applicants are hampering the administration they are creating hurdles for the smooth functioning of the administration but the facts are otherwise the reality is otherwise when people are aggrieved only then they file rti application and 95% of the people they do not know the legal procedure how to file an rti application how to file a first appeal how to approach the second appellate authority and the attitude of the information commissioners most of them they are so arrogant they are so conceited they are so thick skinned that they want to dispose of the case within 2 minutes and despite the fact that the case is listed after 2 years and the moment the appellant enters into their office they will say i am short of time you just tell me one point 
and then I will decide and I will issue an appropriate order. So this is mockery of RTA Act and this is total travesty and miscarriage of justice. Luxury at the expense of public exchequer and poor taxpayers' money, is it correct? Of course. They are enjoying superannuated benefits. They don't bother about the problems and grievances of an ordinary man because they have nothing to lose. They lick the shoes of the politicians, get plump post after retirement and to help with the people and to help with the system. Without any accountability and one thing I would like to invite to your kind attention a consideration that uh, please advise on their working hours. What is up? You'll be shocked. I have been to these information commissioners for the last more than 19 years now and my personal observation is that 90% of information commissioners and chief information commissioners, they don't come to their office before 11.30 and by 1.30 they go back. Where do they go? From where they come? Nobody has an idea. Nobody is there to ask them any questions. Because they say that we are above law. And you go certain judgments of the High Court or Supreme Court, they say we are not concerned with that. We are concerned only to a limited area. And that is not our domain. Wonderful limited area and domain they are expressing to the poor litigants. Is it correct? Of course, of course. They don't understand a man coming from Firozpur or Iwadi or Mahindragar and when he comes to Chandigarh, he is told, Aaj sahab nahi aare hai. As simple as that. Why don't you inform the person earlier? He has traveled 300 kilometers spending money from his own pocket because he doesn't enjoy any tea and tea and sahab is missing. So, sahab kaha ja rahe hai? Kya kar rahe hai? Kisi ko nahi pata. Sahab walo se poocho, sir, koi idea hai. Koi idea hai. And majority of the information commissioners are retired bureaucrats and they know the functioning and malfunctioning of the department also. And their only one point program is to act in unison with the public information officer and first appellate authority. Probably they have been directed by the power that be, their godfather politicians, that you are not to disturb the government officials and no penalty should be imposed on erring and errant and recalcitrant officials. On the contrary, RTI Act envisages that not only penalty to be imposed, but compensation is also to be given to the appellant. But they don't do, hardly, hardly, hardly in one or two percent cases. And they also think that we are doing a lot of big appellant on the appellant, they are giving him 5,000 or 10,000. One thing more, the their uh, financial perks, their salaries and everything, can they justify with one and a half uh, hour uh, daily working or two hours daily uh, working? They have just protected their perks and privileges. Some former chief secretary becomes chief information commissioner having same old residence, same old protocol, car, Sipai, escort, and what not. So they have nothing to lose. They have nothing to lose. They are burden on financial exchequer. Is of it course, correct? Totally. 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 And uh, any accountability deserves to be accounted for? That is yet to be seen. Because even I have seen most of the orders issued by the information commissioners, they are not worth reading because they neither have any substance nor any content not to talk of the lawful averments made by the appellant in his appeal. One thing, much ado about nothing, please explain. You have used the word much ado about nothing, a beautiful play by Shakespeare, but my personal experience is that these information commissioners, they are good for nothing. Wonderful compliments for the working Thank of you. the 
स्टेट इंफॉर्मेशन कमीशन एंड द पर्सनस होल्डिंग दीज पोस्ट एंड इफ इट कुड शेक द कॉन्शियस ऑफ द अपॉइंटिंग अथॉरिटी डेफिनेटली दिस वीडियो विल बी वर्थ फॉर वी दी पीपल ऑफ इंडिया इज इट ग्रेट दे डू नॉट हैव एनी कॉन्शियंस दे आर कॉन्शियस ऑफ देयर ओन पर्सनल बेनिफिट्स पर्कस एंड प्रिविलेज it is unfortunate that we are talking for this but it is reality disgusted this is real it, it is reality which you have stated out of your personal experience yeah, of course of course i have i've spoken through my heart not through my mind thank you so much thank you very much thank you so thank much pesa i am grateful thank you. that you have given a queue oh, so for much. number of people <laughs> thank you giving trembling quivering and shivering school of thought uh, let's to hope them. people should come forward because when dissent is a duty silence is crime people don't come forward they must add their grievances whatever the outcome may be they should come forward with courage determination and resilience jagmohan singh patti advocate youtube channel di e pet tode vaste kar ditti e sanji taake ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਸਕੇ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਪੈਸੇ ਦਾ ਖਿਲਵਾੜ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਇਨਕਮ ਟੈਕਸ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਲੂਟਿੰਗ ਏਜੰਸੀ ਆਫ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛਣ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਪੈਸਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਟੈਕਸ ਪੇਅਰ ਤੋਂ ਲੁੱਟਿਆ ਉਹ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਖਰਚ ਕੀਤਾ ਇਹਦਾ ਅਕਾਊਂਟੇਬਿਲਟੀ ਲੈਣਾ ਇੱਕ ਕੰਮ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਅਗਲੀ ਵਾਰੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਭਗਵਾਨ ਭਲੀ ਕਰੇ ਭਗਵਾਨ ਭਲੀ ਕਰੇ ਪੈਸਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸਰ